Hi everyone, my name is Ramasis Gupta. Once again, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with the new topic, the PQC payment. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the PQC animation video, and I will discuss you all the technical terms related to PQC. PQC payment through the animation video and I will discuss you about a stress rate develop in PQC road and why we use Dovell's bar, tie bars and why we what is the importance of uh, placing Dovell's bar and tie bars so let's begin the video and please watch the video till the end the Dovell's bar is placed at transverse joint and it is parallel to the center line of the pavement and parallel to the direction of the traffic tie bar tie bar is also play, also provided but it is placed at longitudinal joint and it is perpendicular to the center line of the road or perpendicular to the direction of the traffic now pour the concrete of the entire section of this pavement and longitudinal joint longitudinal joint divides the pavement into different lanes and transverse joint transverse joint is perpendicular to the center line and it is also called as construction joint so now i'm going to show you the two conditions first one is without placing dovell's bar in pqc road and second one is with placing the dovell's bar in pqc road what will happen at pqc road while running the vehicles on the pavement so let's while running the vehicles at pavement of without dovell's bar the pavement would be deformed and it develops the cracks at the pavement and wheel load does not transfer the adjacent slab when dovell's bar is provided at the pavement wheel load transfer to the adjacent slab or pavement while running the vehicles and it prevents from the development of cracks so now I want to tell you about the Dovell's bar. Dovell's bar is made up of mild steel and its cross section is rounded in shape. Dovell's bar should properly oiled and grease before placing its position to avoid bonding with concrete. And if the thickness of pavement is less than 150 mm, Dovell's bar may not be provided according to IS code 6509 1972. So tie bar, tie bar is also made of mild steel and it is placed across the direction of the traffic and these are commonly used at longitudinal joint for dividing the pavement into lanes and when the width of this pavement becomes more than 5 meters. In case of tie bar, it is almost same as Dovell's bar without tie bar, without providing tie bars the pavement would be deformed and develops cracks but after providing tie bars pavement pavement would not be deformed and it prevents from the cracks and will load transfer to the adjacent slab easily first of all i want to clear you clear you that transverse joint can be expansion contraction and or construction joint Due to temperature variation, the concrete can be expand or contract and in the expansion case, compressive stress will develop at the pavement. That's why we should provide some space between the two adjacent slab or you can say at transverse joint. And in, in case of contraction of slab or pavement, Tensile stress will develop at pavement to prevent the tensile stress. We should provide some space between two adjacent slab, or you can say at transverse joint, to relieve the tensile stress or compressive stress. This is the table of contraction joint spacing. It is based on IRC 15-2002, and this is the Deta table of Dovell's bar details and slab thickness and last one is tie bar details and slab thickness table so hope you like this video please like share and comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get upcoming videos